The length of a rectangle is 3 inches more than its width. Its area is 130 square inches. Find the width and the length of the rectangle. So using this rectangle here, because the length is the longer side and is 3 inches more than the width, we'll let the width be equal to x, and therefore the length would be equal to x plus 3. And we also know the area is equal to 130 square inches. And now using the area formula for a rectangle, we can set up an equation and solve for x, then determine the length and the width. The area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So we'll substitute 130 for the area. And for the length times the width, we'd have the quantity x plus 3 times x. Or if we want, we could write this as x times the quantity x plus 3. Let's go ahead and change the order of this multiplication. So 130 equals x times the quantity x plus 3. Now we want to solve this equation for x. So let's clear the parentheses by distributing here. So 130 is equal to x squared plus 3x. Because we have a quadratic equation, let's set it equal to 0 and see if we can solve by factoring. So we'll subtract 130 on both sides. One hundred thirty minus one hundred thirty is zero, so we have zero equals x squared plus three x minus one hundred thirty. And now if this does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is x squared and x times x equals x squared, we'll have a factor of x here and here in the first positions of the binomial factors. Because the leading coefficient is one, the terms in the second positions would be the factors of negative 130 that add to positive 3. And because 10 times 13 equals 130, and we're looking for two factors that give us a product of negative 130 and add to positive 3, we can use the factors of positive 13 and negative 10. So for positive 13, we write plus 13 here. For negative 10, we write minus 10 here. Again, 13 times negative 10 equals negative 130, and 13 plus negative 10 equals positive 3. So this is now factored, and because this product is equal to 0, x plus 13 must be 0, or x minus 10 must equal 0. Solving for x here, we subtract 13 on both sides. x equals negative 13, or Solving for x here, we add 10 to both sides. x equals positive 10. Remember, x and x plus 3 represent a length, which must be positive. So even though x equals negative 13 is an algebraic solution to our equation, it's not a solution to this application problem. So we can eliminate x equals negative 13, and our solution is x equals 10. So if x equals 10 and the length is x plus 3, the length would be 10 plus 3, which equals 13. So this length is 13 inches. We don't include the units here in our answer. We just enter 13. And the width is x, and we know x equals 10. So the width is 10 inches, so we enter 10. The area of a 10 by 13 rectangle would be 10 times 13, which equals 130 square inches. And notice how with these dimensions, the length is three inches more than the width. I hope you found this helpful.